Ukraine liberated the city of Kherson, routing and driving out Russian troops. But this morning, the victors are standing on bread lines for handouts. In Kherson's main square, word of mouth spread quickly that food is available while it lasts. This is the harsh reality after the elation of victory. Ukrainians can't afford reconstruction, especially now during the war. But now, efforts are underway to get Russia to pay for the damage it caused. A contentious vote at the UN held Russia responsible for damage and deaths in Ukraine and called for an international mechanism to be established for the payment of reparations. Accounts of atrocities committed by, Russia, by Russians in the occupied territories, murder, rape, torture, forced deportation, looting, they all speak for themselves. It is time to hold Russia accountable. Some U.S. officials have said seized Russian funds and assets, including yachts from oligarchs allegedly tied to the Kremlin, should go to Ukraine. Russian officials said the U.N. vote has no legal basis. China voted against it. President Zelensky accused Russia of deliberately destroying Ukraine's infrastructure and said all those responsible must be sanctioned. It's unclear if Russia will ever pay. In Kherson, they're trying to make do. Local authorities brought in a cell tower, but there's still no power. Generators operate a few precious charging stations. Ukraine won back this city, but now who will pay for it? Ukrainians say the answer is obvious. Russia broke it and now must pay. President Zelensky said the fall of Kherson marks the beginning of the end of the war. And some U.S. officials are quietly urging the Ukrainian government to consider diplomatic negotiations with Russia. But here, the mood is not one for negotiations or compromise. They want to keep pushing ahead. All right, Richard Engel for us there in Kherson. Richard, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.